So hey guys, what's been happening here in the Inland Empire part of Southern California is homeowners, homeowners associations. You know, they're not the biggest deal, but these are uh, organizations that keep a lot of these subdivisions together. I mean, they keep the water flowing on the lawns, they keep the pools cleaned, and what's happening with this economic situation is that these uh, these homeowners associations are basically collapsing. They're getting so bad right now. There's been one homeowners association that wanted to dedicate this, the street that they take care of and give it back to the city. So that's what's happening. It's kind of like the reverse privatization of these communities. You know, these homeowners associations came in and started uh, privatizing communities. Now they want to give them back to the city. Hey guys, what's up? This is George uh, for inflation.us. I'm out here in Corona in front of uh, the local city civic center and what's recently happened here a big thing that's happening that's making the local news here is homeowners associations homeowners associations all across southern california are going bankrupt and uh it's because housing foreclosures it's because people can't pay their mortgages and the last thing they're doing is paying their homeowners association fees so homeowners association bank accounts are down huge there's one in particular that was in our local paper, Parkview Estates Homeowners Association. They are so bad, they want to give up streets back to the city. So what they're what they're hoping for is this is going to save them forty to fifty thousand dollars a year as they give these streets back to the city. So it's kind of a reverse privatization happening here in Southern California, where private homeowners associations are trying to um, give back certain aspects of their homeowner associations to the city right what else is happening out here is we're having huge decreases in sales tax revenues this is a major major impact on the cities locally here in um inland city finance directors and city managers are growing weary of the arrows pointing down 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 on sales tax revenue these people actually think we're could have a green shoots recovery what they're finding out is sales tax revenue, meaning based upon the consumer-based culture in America, are going down, 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 way below the projections that they've predicted for this year. And what's happening is they're having to lay off more city employees and they're having to reduce city services. Well, Riverside posted a 19% drop in sales tax in the first quarter alone. 15 cities in Riverside County are seeing double digit declines in sales and use taxes over the past year and 10 cities in San Bernardino. Now remember, most of these cities rely upon this sales tax revenue as either their primary source of revenue or their secondary source of revenue after real estate taxes. We also have Prop 13 that has put a cap on a lot of real estate here in California that is severely hurting a lot of our local cities. And some cities with auto malls and large shopping districts depend on sales tax to bring in as much as 30 to 50% of the revenue of the city. For example, in Hemet, um, they have, uh, they, they basically, their sales tax plummeted more than 22% this year. But that's somewhat optimistic because sales activity in Hemet fell 26.9% in the first quarter. Hemet is a home of a lot of new dealerships and the dealerships there have seen a 58% drop in sales tax dollars. As a consequence of that, Hemet had to lay off 100 city of employees. So what we're seeing here is, you know, if you have a city job, you have a county job, you're being affected by the state of the economy because what happens is consumers can't buy things, people get foreclosed on real estate, and that's what happens. You get less, uh, you get less sales tax revenue, and then you have to cut back on employees. So that's what's happening here in the local cities in Southern California.